Hello YouTube, B3 here, back with another kicking ah, graphic novel review. Today I have a big one, a collection of one-shots actually, quite a large book. It is The Joker, Death of the Family. And this book contains all the tie-ins for the Death of the Family uh, kind of Batman event, which we've also reviewed the main graphic novel for, Batman Volume 3, Death of the Family. Already been reviewed, already up on this channel, check it out. But, uh, I also have this, the tie-ins, and not as good as the main event. I'm going to tell you what's, what's in here. It collects some, some pages from the Batman book just to kind of connect things, and it gives you the end of the event as well in here. Batman Detective Comics, which uh, is a story about, like, Joker copycats, like gangs that copycat Joker... Uh, a bunch of psychopaths that kill people in the name of Joker and stuff. Uh, things like that. And then the Batman and Robin one. Uh, Joker kidnaps Robin uh, in this zoo. And there's all these gross bugs and stuff around. Uh, drugs a dojo master into being like his mind slave. Dresses him up as Batman and forces him to fight Robin. And he tries to force Robin to kill this imposter Batman. And Robin thinks it's the real Batman really didn't like it. The art was really grotesque. <laughs> that, I actually didn't have a problem with that, but yeah. And then there's Batgirl, and the Batgirl story is like Joker kidnaps her mom, right? And tries to force Batgirl to like marry him, and then he wants to cut off her arms and legs and keep her in the basement. Weird. Uh, and her brother's there helping out sort of odd and the suicide squad one is him basically just torturing harley quinn whatever uh and the nightwing one he's like drugging all the Haley circus people making nightwing fight them also pretty uh pretty crazy and the whole book really kind of leaves you guessing on whether or not he knows their true identities and then red hood and the outlaws and teen titans are actually both one story because he kidnaps Tim Drake, Red Robin, and Jason Todd, Red Hood. Uh, kind of puts them in a room together, makes them fight each other. All this stuff. Uh, kind of tortures them both psychologically. And physically. But, uh, yeah, and then the Teen Titans, who I don't like. I do not like this Teen Titans team. Uh, and the Outlaws, I also did not like this Outlaws team, uh, are all looking for him, and they're fighting Joker zombies that Kid Flash accidentally creates while running around Gotham and kicking up Joker toxin. It's whatever. And then the Catwoman story, Joker's torturing her psychologically as well, making her run around and do all this weird stuff. And... I don't know. It just seems like they wanted to have Joker in as many books as possible to sell all those books. I'm not super crazy about this. It's not necessarily bad, but it's not really good either. Like, I'm not, I've read it twice. I read it once when I got it, and then once to do this review, and it'll probably be a long time before I read it again. Because I'm just not super crazy about it. It's not important to me. But there's also this kind of, like, epilogue in the back that's everyone having nightmares, and then Batman and Damien end up doing a little bonding, I guess. It's whatever. I just, it's just not imp really important. You get the main, you get the full story really in the Batman book. Uh, this is just how he psychologically tortured the other characters to make them not really trust Batman anymore. Because that's what death of the family means. Not them literally dying, but their family kind of falling apart. <coughs> Scott Snyder's great. A lot of his writing is in here and stuff. But. I mean, all these books have their own creative teams, so the art's going to change a lot as you flip through here because it's so many different titles, you know? It's not the same artist throughout the whole thing, which makes sense, you know? It'd be dumb to expect it all to be the same artist and writer and everything since it's just a collection of tie-ins. But, uh, yeah, I probably will not be getting the Joker endgame tie-ins. Don't expect that because I'm probably not going to get it. I really just don't care. But, uh... Yeah, The Joker, Death of the Family, it's hella dark, it's kind of gross, it's actually quite gross, it's really gross. <laughs> and 
And if you're a big Joker fan, maybe go for it. But it's really not the best book. And it doesn't show any of these characters in their best light either. So, um, I guess that's it. Kind of a short one since I just... Because it would take so long to go through all this and explain everything. That would just take forever. I mean, this is a really thick book. It's a really thick book. It's one of my thicker ones. So yeah, that's it. Thank you all once again for your support. Please remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the links in the description below. Facebook, Twitter, etc. But yes, that is it. Thank you all once again. Next time, um, I'm going to either do a Green Lantern or a Thor. I don't know which one I'm going to do yet. I should probably do the Thor, but I've already reread the Green Lantern, so I can kind of just get it out of the way, huh? <coughs> Alright, so next time we're going to do Green Lantern and the Sinestro Corps. Wars. Yeah, Sinestro Core War. Very cool. One of my one of my favorites actually. So that's it. Thank you all once again for your support and I'll see you all later.